Hey contenders, Coach C here. Welcome to the 35 hard challenge that we are hosting here at Contender CrossFit. This is originally stemming from the 75 hard challenge, um, but we are doing the shorter version of it, which means that it's just 35 days. Now the future goal of this is to be able to challenge all of y'all to do 75 hard in the future, but for now we're taking baby steps in that direction. So this video is mainly to have an overview um, of all the rules of 35 hard and when it starts, when it ends, what it entails, how we're going to measure it too. We've been having a lot of questions on certain aspects of it, so we're going to dive right into it, okay? So rule number one is nutrition. So nutrition for the 35 part is taking a diet and sticking to a diet with no cheat meals and no alcohol. Now, obviously everybody's cheat meals is different from person to person. So on the day of orientation, which we will have, we're gonna go more in depth of what that looks like. We're gonna follow a lot of, um, or a lot of the resources that we're gonna be giving is specifically stemmed from Whole30. And Whole30 is just nutrient dense foods, things that were not processed basically. And so we're gonna give you a lot of solid resources based on that. And then the other aspect of it, if that's something that you don't really wanna to stick to, we're also gonna teach you how to measure um, count your macronutrients, which is just following protein, fats, and carbohydrates based on your in-body analysis and what it says of how many calories you should be intaking every single day, or at least what your basal metabolic rate is. So based on that, we'll be able to go over the basics of how to count your macronutrients, how to count your calories, and whichever route you take, sticking to that and following through with it. So yes, we are using the in-body analysis um, as a way to measure this challenge. So that's the number one way that we're gonna measure it. But we've been getting a lot of questions on, hey, what if I don't wanna lose a bunch of weight? What if I don't even have a bunch of weight to lose? Well, fat loss is one of the things that we're gonna be measuring as well as muscle gain. Um, and either of those in a 35 day window is you can only lose and you can only gain so much. So we're not just gonna use the in-body as a way to measure this challenge of the way it works, but we're gonna use also, we'll show in a little bit, progress pictures as well as a performance component too. So. Diving into number two, goal number two, which is having two workouts a day. They have to be two separate workouts and they have to both be 45 minutes long. One of them specifically has to be outside. And yes, the class workouts count as an outside 45 minute workout. So that's already taken care of. We're gonna give you more resources too on what that extra workout that a day can look like. We'll give you body weight workouts if you're out of town, hotel workouts, um, as well as simply walking your dog can be considered 45 minute workout, just some sort, some form of physical activity counts as your 45 minute workout that day. We've also been thinking about opening up on Sundays earlier in the morning so that we have an opportunity to use our facility, to use our gym to get that workout in. Um, and we'll do that together. And then what I mentioned earlier, the performance component is actually gonna be our level method lactic tolerance temp assessment, which is gonna be free. So at the end of this month of August, August 29th, it's a Tuesday, we're already going to be doing it in class. We're already planning for it, so we're going to use that as our assessment um, going into our challenge, and then we're going to retest and reassess the week of October 10th through the 14th. So we'll have coaches ready and available. If you you can come during your normal class time, but we can just test you on the side while we're just doing that workout, um, and we'll just best accommodate that for each member. So that's the workout component. Going into rule number three. So we're gonna be reading 10 pages a day, um, every single day for each of us. Uh, if, and I'm saying this because it's gonna be challenging to me too to be able to read 10 pages a day, but it specifically has to be self-development, a self-help book, something that's educational and it's gonna help you, whether that be the Bible, for some people about other religious books and or leadership books, just something that helps you and educates you and it's not just like, I mean, yes, we would like for it to be fun to read, but not just a story. So something beyond that, but we are gonna have a book box specifically. I'm not too sure if maybe leading up to it we'll already have it, but for sure at the day of orientation, we are gonna be able to share books. If you have any good recommendations, you can just at least, um, we'll talk about the private community page later, we can share some of that in there as well. So that is what reading the 10 pages looks like. Rule number four is drinking a gallon of water. Pretty, well it sounds simple, but pretty straightforward. Um, just plan ahead, that's the number one thing. Already know what type of bottle you're gonna be using. Already know if you're gonna have like a jug of water next to you. I would recommend putting some electrolytes in there too, just being hydrated throughout this whole thing. Um, I've heard a lot of people that have gone through the 75 part, if there's one thing that they take away from this, it is the habit of drinking more water, which is awesome because we live in South Texas. So 
planning ahead with that, knowing what you're going to do to measure a gallon of water. And then rule number five is taking pro progress pictures. Now, this is something that you don't have to turn it to us. You can keep for yourself, but we want you to document every single day of what this challenge is doing for you and your body. Um, yes, this is more, we've been really preaching, like this is more of a, a mental aspect of challenging your mind a little bit more, but obviously there is physical change that is also happening to your body too, so we want you to be able to measure that, um, but that is for you to keep for yourself. So going into the registration part of it, we will have one male and one female winner. They will get a cash prize. There's $35 per member to get into the challenge, but that pool of money is then going to go back to y'all. One male, one female winner, cash prize. The goal for this is 50 members. 50 contenders, and we're already more than halfway there, and it's only been one week that we've been promoting it. Put the email out, which is awesome. Great job, guys. I'm so glad you believe in supporting one another and doing this together. And the last day to register is going to be at the very last second. You have all the way until September 9th. I'll print out some extra packets in case some people want to sign up that day, but it's going to be a Saturday. We're also going to have the initial embody that day, September 9th, starting at 9 a.m. Now, if you need a different day, or if you're not going to be here that day, or a different time, we'll try our best to best accommodate that, but also be fair to the rest of the members that have also paid for this for this challenge as well. Um, orientation is also going to be that same day, 1030. Like I said, you're going to get a packet, answer as much, or like come with questions too. Like we want to answer as much as we possibly can, and even the weeks leading up, this is not the only video that's going to be going out. Like I said, this is just an overview of everything, but we want you to come with questions. We want to answer as much questions as possible, give you resources and within each of these five rules and just help set you up for success as best as possible. And then hopefully be able, like I said, to do it in the future for 75 part. Um, and then we'll have the final in-body October 16th, which is a Sunday. We'll open up the gym for y'all. Um, and like I said, that time is to be determined, but if we need to have a different date, um, we'll figure that out for, each of us as well. And then last but not least, like I mentioned earlier, we will have a private Facebook community page specifically for the 35 Part Challenge to share recipes, ideas, books, your experience, progress pictures too, anything that is just gonna help support and keep each other accountable during this time. We just wanna be able to, I don't want this, I don't want these rules to be limiting to anybody. We just wanna simply take your circumstances and upgrade them wherever they are and stick to that for the 35 days and hopefully you gain something out of it. At least one habit that you can take for the rest of your life that you're always going to do and that's the goal. Um, so we're really excited about this. We hope this is an encouragement to you and the coaches are going to do, do it with you. We're all on board with this and uh, we're just so excited to see the transformation that happens in 35 Heart. Thanks and have a great day guys.